Hey everybody, welcome back to Wonder Woman Gaming. Today, I'm continuing my Let's Play of Midnight Scenes from the Woods. So last time, we saw some more of the stuff that's starting to unfold around uh, whatever creature followed Oliver from the, the woods that he's been in for 10 years. And it's starting to cause a few problems for people. It's starting to hurt people. But anyway, we're in here talking to our therapist, or the... Uh, organizer or director or something of this place and that's where we left off so as you can see not even the mailboxes are immune to Oliver's dark arts Al is his name so it seems what happened then then I found poor Joe struggling with the invading roots from the big oak so I helped him Joe huh tell me what happened all right let's do a flashback let's do a flashback into what happened with Joe oh the keeper the the innkeeper, not the innkeeper, he's not an innkeeper, he's the janitor, the, the maintenance man, the all-around handyman of the place that's retiring soon. Ugh, this is horrible. Horrible! The birds are inside now. Hey kid, come give Joe, old Joe a hand, will ya? Where are we going, Joe? I don't know. My god! Look at this mess. All the equipment is smashed to pieces. The roots of that damn tree are growing at an unbelievable rate. Cut the tree down. This is this is not a minor problem. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, this is massive. Too many bizarre things are happening around here lately. What kind of things? Elijah! Look at the room you're in! What do you mean, what kind of things? Is this not enough? Well, things! I smell something murky in the air since... Since the new boy came in, right? Could you be more specific? No. We're, since the new boy came in. We're going to plant some ideas in Joe's brain. Since the new boy came in, right? Did you notice it too? I have a nose for evil stuff. And that kid, he's just been rolling in it. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be telling you any of this. I don't want to scare you. Come on, we have a lot of work here. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a saw. Okay. I thought it was some kind of, like, banana peel or starfish... Okay, put these roots in that wheelbarrow in the corner. Got it. You got it. I better bring the wheelbarrow here first. Oh, no, we're not going to... We're going to take the wheel to wheelbarrow. Detached wheel. The wheel axle is broken. You're a clever kid. You'll figure it out. Okay, hold on. Let's go look at the roots. Yeah, I know. I was going to use a stick. I was going to use a stick as a... I need to help put the... I'm aware, you ass. Okay, what do we got here? cabinet. We'll look around. See if we can find something. I don't, I don't have a screwdriver. Um. What else can I click on here? What else is open? Can I have this? Can I use... Can I use that? Joe. Cabinet. Screwdriver. There's gotta be something in here. There's gotta be something in here that I can use. Obviously it's not gonna let me it's not going to let me, uh, leave. So I've got a cabinet that could use a screwdriver. But I don't... It has to let me out! You would think. I, I'm aware. Joe, do you have a screwdriver? Did you fix find a f way to fix the wheelbarrow? I might have. Do you have a screwdriver? Oh, okay. I'm Joe, the maintenance wizard. Of course I have a screwdriver. Here. Okay. Thank you, Joe, the maintenance wizard. Thank you for your screwdriver. Thank you for your service. Let's unscrew. I'll use the screwdriver to remove it. That's sound advice. Okay, screw out. Got a screw. So, let's... Oh, we're just taking the screw. Okay. I mean, it'll, it'll do. It'll do. Detach wheel. Do I have an inventory? The screw can act as the wheel's axle. It fits perfectly. Yeah, but you have to put the you have to do the wheel first. You can't just pop it on. You have to. It, it goes wheel and then screw through. That's whatever. I can finally use the wheelbarrow. Can we give him his screwdriver back? All right. But yes, I would like. I would like to pick up the roots. Great. Now be a sweetie and throw the roots in the dumpster out in the garden, will you? That's a weird thing to call a kid that works, that lives in one of these places. Why don't you just, like, be a pal? Be a, be a friend. You could just say, be helpful, dumpster. Dumpster bumpster. I'll leave the wheelbarrow here. Joe will pick it up later. Um, there's, like, way more roots to be handled. There's so many more roots. 
Dumpster. Dumpster. Let's. Can we go back over here? Mm -hmm. What about the pipe? Is Grace on the other side of the pipe? Hello, Grace? Any Grace today? Nothing. No Grace. Okay, well. I was just checking. Mm -hmm. Just looking for my friend. There's too many roots. It's becoming an issue. It's an issue. It's... Hey, Joe. Thanks again for the help, kid. Now move away. I'm going to leave this bastard all skinned. Okay. Well, just be careful, Joe. He's gonna get hurt. He's gonna get hurt. We know it. What's gonna happen? You hear it. Okay, well, we didn't see it, whatever it was, unless he just got it cut down. But I feel like something... I feel like something was going to happen to Joe. So let's focus on what happened that evening. Ugh, that evening. Dinner started well, but as you know, it ended in tragedy. Oh no. Someone dropped their food. To all our... Bzzz, dinner is boost. Boost. To all our... To all our kids. To all our kids. Dinner is... Dinner is... Dinner is fucked. Alright, so... What should I eat for dinner? So we had spaghetti last time. We had spaghetti last time, so there is Brooklyn-style hot dog, chicken royale, or little slices of heaven. Now, there's about a 90% chance on any given day that if you offer me pizza, I'm going to eat it. But, since the last time we had dinner was Italian. Italian, in quotes. Italian food. We had pasta. So we had a, we had a carby, tomato, saucy, delicious dinner. Now... Should we do it again? My heart says eat the pizza, but my body, my hit, my my mind says for this child's health, we should have a little bit of variety. And a Brooklyn style hot dog would be kind of cool for a teenager. But chicken is probably more protein based. Although if it was fried, then I don't know how nutritious it is. Nutritious it is. But I don't like hot dogs, so I'm averse to them, to picking them. But because I'm averse to picking them. I'm, I'm just going to say fuck it, and this kid's having a hot dog. You ever put that much... Who, who else ever agonizes over their dinner like that? Thank you, for, thank you for singing the Yum Yum song to me, whoever served me up. I appreciate your enthusiasm. Who are you talking to, buddy? I better leave him alone. Yeah, I'll just go eat alone. I like eating by myself. No one tries to talk to you when you got your mouth full of food, and then... Then you don't have to try and talk to them, and then you don't have to worry about if your mouth is open. I thought you wanted to be left alone. Oh, hello. I thought you wanted to be left alone after what happened last time. After I tried to shove food in your mouth. Don't touch my food. You like hot dog, huh? Here, all yours. I'm not hungry. Well, good thing I gave him the hot dog. Oh, walnuts from a tree. Thanks. Are they poisoned? Hey, Oliver. I need to ask you something. The other night, when we met in the showers, did you see or hear anything strange? Oliver doesn't talk. I know it sounds crazy, but I saw something behind me. And it wasn't a, anybody here, like a shadow. I can't describe it, but it was very creepy. Did... Oh my god, Oliver said a word. Did she... Did she hurt you? Who? What? Oh man, it's really happening now. We're getting... We've got dialogue! Hey, wait! No, I peed, but I mean, that's... It's easy to clean up. Bye, weirdo. Hey, Eric! Enough with the judgment. Well, well, well. Looks like Mowgli likes you. Maybe because I'm the only one who pays him any attention. Maybe because I'm not a raging ass. Too much attention, I'd say. I just want to help. Everyone needs help. Everyone here avoids him like the plague. Because he's fucking creepy. He walks around like a ghost, only muttering things to his invisible friend. You'd think for kids that were in a place like this, that they would have a little bit more empathy for, like, the rough, the struggles of the other kids around them. But apparently, that's just not even the case. And to think I sleep in the next room. He gives me the chills. Oh, here's these, here's these jackasses. Greetings. How kind of the center to sit aside the table for the oppressed minorities. Oh, the center, like the build, like the, the place. Shouldn't you be selling drugs to little kids? You know what, Aiden? You look like you'd be way more likely to sell a drug to anybody. Piece of shit. And you waving stupid colored flags. 
You're just a very sad person. He's just a very, very sad person. I don't think he's ever had any actual fun a day in his life. If Aiden knew what actual, like, 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 enjoyable, like, fulfilling happiness felt like, it, it would probably kill him. What do you want, Aiden? I just came to warn you that poor Miss Murphy is not looking too fresh. What'd you do to my goose? Little Birdie told me the poor thing is battling for her life right now. Honk honk. What are you talking about? Did something happen to Miss Murphy? How would I know? She's your responsibility, not mine. You guys are pieces of shit. See, that's it. That's exactly it. What the hell was that? I gotta go check the goose. No idea. I better go check Miss Murphy. Don't hurt my goose. Don't hurt my goose. I mean, it's not really my goose. It's the center's goose, but I, I like it. I like her. Where's my goose? Oh, no! <gasps> Miss Murphy! Oh, no, what have they done to you? Oh, God, they pushed a pen in her mouth! They suffocated her. No! Fuck! Come on. <laughs> Elijah, what the hell happened here? They killed her. Who's Aiden? Oh, fuck. Man! I had n I'm so pissed off at this fucking asshole. I'm so- What did- Like I said, this kid has no idea. This just has no idea what actual true, like, healthy love or genuine emotion or, like, care or empathy feels like. He's just- He's just- Just a fucking broken brain little asshole. Like, the only joy he can get is seeing other people hurt because that's the exactly how he feels every day of his life. The pain he feels that he, he has to give that pain to others just because that's the only way he could feel even the smidge of any kind of emotion that is a relief from the constant pain that he feels. And I just, like, in one hand, I, I wish that people didn't have to feel that, but, like, when you, when you actively choose to be that shitty about your own life about the way you feel you just have to push it on others like just god what a i hate it i hate it so much i like that goose and i i hate animal cruelty just fucking what i'd never hurt miss murphy now he's lying because he's a little sociopath my parents donated her to the center yeah that's probably why you felt like you had the right to do it she was my family monster god a little piece of shit quiet both of you i've heard enough Animal abuse is a very serious offense that wouldn't go unpunished. And he's got a criminal- he's got a history of violence. This doctor is gonna be outside of her mind. If she- she's gonna choose not to see it, but... I'm very consider- seriously considering your immediate expulsion from the center. You can't do that! This brat was the one responsible for the goose. Shut up, Aiden. Yeah, fuck you, Aiden. Doctors can't say that. This is bullshit. Why are you accusing me of this? Because you did it. My father will get your ass fired. Get out of my sight. You too. I said all I had to say. Well, you killed the goose, now there's not another goose to kill, you, you giant, you giant fucking, you, ooh, you fucking murderer. I'm gonna, well, we tried. Ugh. This was just the beginning, you hear me? Get out of my way, meatball. You know what, Aiden? You know what, Aiden? You know what, Aiden? I have a feeling you might think that you're pretty big. But I think there's actually something here bigger than you. And I really hope that you become the Mrs. I hope I hope Aiden becomes the Mrs. Murphy to to whatever the name of Oliver's very, very supernatural friend is. That's my that's what I'm rooting for. Are you okay, mate? And I'm also sorry that the goose got killed. I'm sorry for everyone that had to see that. I hated that. I didn't feel okay about it. I wish it didn't happen. You should see the other. <laughs> you should see the other. <coughs> hey, at least we're Yeah, you Taught him quite the lesson. Come on, I'll take you to your room. Aiden, Aiden's just a giant piece of piss. This is just a urinal cake. Looks like Eric's always by your side in rough times. Do you mind if I ask if he's more if if it's more than just friendship? I do actually, because it's not really any of your business. We're just friends. Are you a gossip journalist now? The only love Eric and I share is our love of video games and movies. That's all. Do you think Eric feels the same? I don't care. I hope so. I wouldn't want to hurt him. Like, it is possible for two people to be trauma bonded in a place like this. There's not a lot of options for these two to just go out and shop for friends. I don't understand why Aiden is so obsessed with you. 
I mean, he's a dick to everyone, but killing Miss Murphy just to hurt you? It's because he's hateful. Yeah, I'm his favorite target. The rumor that I like boys spread like wildfire ever since the moment I walked in. Aiden is not the only one who would like to see me dead for that, but he's the worst by far. I'm afraid one day he's going to hurt me real bad. I won't let him. I swear if he ever touches you again, I'll break every bone in his body and throw his corpse in the lake. Ugh, don't make me laugh, my stomach. I'm sorry. It's so unfair that we can't o be open about our feelings. Oh, I was wrong. I mean, I just want you to know that you can talk to me if you need to. What's this? What's this? What are you holding? What is that? Hey, hey, don't you know how to knock? Now is a good time. Elijah's sick. Elijah's not sick. Elijah's just, just punched. It's all right. Hey, Oliver, what's up? What are you holding, man? What do you want? To give him this? Oliver. Fine. Very kind of you. Now let him rest, okay? Eric, don't be a dick. You'll see him tomorrow. Bye. What is it? Oliver's, like, decent. What's that? A twig doll. Oh, okay. This is very creepy. I'd throw it away if I was you. Look at it. It's like something out of one of your horror stories. People just don't... It's just, it's just, they don't know, they don't understand, and they're afraid of it. It looked like a simple doll, but it was much more than that. When Aiden finally managed to murder Elijah, the twig doll turned into a giant beast, hungry for revenge. Ah, the story of the vengeful twig doll. It eviscerated Aiden and ate his rotten heart. The end. Lovely. Too bad, too bad the bad guys always win in real life. Come on, lay down, you should rest. What would you do without me? I'm just sad about the goose! I thought I'd spend the night mourning Miss Murphy, but I was exhausted. I slept like a log. That was the fateful night, right? Yeah, the reason for all these therapy sessions and double medication. I knew something horrible had happened the moment I woke up. Hopefully it's to Aiden. I can't believe it. Why did it just hurt my goose like that? It's just such ass. What is that picture on the wall, too? Is that supposed to be like the scariest... Oliver? Elijah, what's going on? Oh, this is Michael. Uh, no idea. It looks like something happened in the garden. Let's go! Let's go outside. I better go see. So Aiden's dad is, like, wealthy, and he's a troubled teen. Aww. Rest in peace, Miss Murphy. I miss you so much. I'm so mad about that! You're such a good girl. Like, literally, just hurt an innocent animal because you're just so, so crappy. What the hell? What do we got here? What's going on? What's going on here? I'm the detective. I'm the detective. I'll go look. I am equipped to investigate. Oh, well, it's not Aiden. Oh, man, it's Joe. <laughs> hmm. Oh, my God, it's Joe. Joe's eyes are gone. All right, well, let's get the kids out of here. Everyone inside immediately. Lock yourselves in your rooms and don't come out until further notice. I said everyone. Now. Get your asses in there. Oh, poor Joe. The tree got him. The tree and or the tree monster and or Oliver's familiar, whatever it is. That's all. I just stayed in my room until the police arrived that afternoon. You didn't talk to anyone else about that morning? No. No, didn't feel like it, honestly. Kind of had a rough day. Weird, weird day. Really fucking weird day. I better lock myself in my room. Okay, what are we in? We're like room seven? Room three? Room Oliver? Oliver! Do you know anything about what happened? Come on, I'm not stupid. I saw the tree roots grab your arm. The same way they grabbed Joe. So many horrible things have happened since you arrived. You have to tell me what's going on. Hey! Hey, where are we going? There's roots in there, bud. There's so much tree in your room. The hell? There's so much tree in here. Is the tree trying to get to you? Oliver, please say something. What happened to Joe? Do you know they killed my goose friend? Mother killed him. Mother? Mother? What are you talking about? Hmm. Are you sure you want to know? Alright. 
How much longer do we think we have in this game? Yeah, let's just keep going. It's not pretty. Whatever it is, I can handle it. Just tell me. No, wait. Hold on. I don't know how much of the game we have left, but I feel like we might. there might be one short episode after this. I'm not sure. The, the game page said it's like 60 to 90 minutes. I don't know if there's uh if, if, if it's just because you can, like, take your time and look around that you can get, like, a, a longer playthrough. If it is 60 minutes, we're, like, damn close based on how many uh, episodes we've already played because this I think this one would put it up about 20 minutes. So we've had three at about 20 minutes. So that's roughly 60. But we still have whatever the backstory is to go through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end it now. And then if it's just another little... If it's, like, a five-minute episode, then it is, you know, what the ending is can be just a shorter episode but we're gonna call it for here because if it's not then i don't want to go for like a 40 minute episode so thank you guys for coming back to one rover gaming thank you for watching um i don't know if i should say i hope you enjoyed this episode because it was actually pretty terrible the entire way through it wasn't happy so let me say i hope you enjoyed the episode but i hope it didn't make you happy <laughs> um i am very sad about miss murphy I kind I knew that something was going to happen to her, but I was I was really hopeful that it wasn't going to be like full on animal murder. Like I was hoping that she would make it through. Maybe they would just like I don't know. Nothing would have been good, but like I would have preferred that she like suffered a minor injury and stayed with us. But nope, nope. They just fucking took her. They just they just what a piece of shit asshole kid. Just <sighs> what can you do? Uh. Nope. Nope. I hate it. I hate it. But anyway, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Uh, and until next time, you guys know where I will be. I will be right here, one room over, playing games for you guys. All right. Take care, everyone. I will see you next episode. Bye, everybody.